see how it works. This is an old 5D Mark II that I have on top, mounted by a 3.5 millimeter. This goes in on the bottom mount right here. It's a quick release and it just slides in here. This is completely uh, rotatable. This is a mount that is for cameras like DSLR, mirrorless cameras, all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm going to snap that back on and then lock it into place with this screw here. Right now it's currently flashing blue. That means we're waiting for the pair. So I got the Rove Pro app on my phone right now. It's connected by Bluetooth. So you can set this to any duration in seconds and then the ramp is uh, how much it takes to adjust the full speed. So, and then you can totally loop this back and forth. So those are the three options here. I'm going to hit start. It's going to start moving. And as you can see, it is moving at a, that's the fastest it will go. And then it'll go back completely automated. Uh, now, as you can might be able to hear, there is a bit of motor whine. And so if you're shooting interviews, this may not be the best option. And that's one of the reasons uh, why this is more suited for VFX work or for uh, if, you're, if your mic is far away from the subject, stuff like that. This is more for time lapses. Uh, you can definitely use this for your time lapses and your VFX. Now, I can stop this right here. There's a different option. You can set this to you can go way, way slower. Um, this on the video side of things, you know, you want to be able to move uh, a little bit faster than usual. But um, for time lapses, we can switch this over to time lapse mode. And then uh, you can set the shutter speed. There is a cable that you can attach to the, um, to the, to the, to the Rove Pro as well. And I think these, these things are, are super useful because this Rove Pro is meant for people uh, who are traveling a ton or who want a portable setup. And so you can totally switch this mirrorless setup for one for the phone. Nowadays, you're shooting for social media. Uh, you want to you know, have something that if you're on the side, you know, if you're not shooting anything super, super quick, you want to shoot something cool on your phone, iPhone photography, iPhone time lapses, iPhone videography, you got that. So this would be perfect for somebody who try, who's trying to get um, uh, shots on their cell phone. So if you want to get that nice time lapse for your Instagram story, or you're just out in the field and you want a portable setup with a slider, this is my go-to for this kind of setup. So all controllable via the app, um, and you can switch these mounts on and off. So uh, now that we look at this, uh, the bottom of this slider, we have the 3.5 millimeter and the quarter inch mounts. These also come on the side here with these portable legs that allow you to adjust the foot position in case you don't have a light stand or a tripod in the field, right? So super handy. So I'll make sure to even those out nice and easy. They clip in, they stay there. That's all you need to go. On this side over here, you'll see the USB mini. So this is a USB mini with a, uh, with a cable for time lapses. Now this one over here, I personally have not used this for time lapses, uh, mostly for VFX and just portable slider use. Now this goes in, this package actually comes with the Rhino Traveler backpack, okay? And in the backpack you can see, these. this is quite a nice bag, I would keep this if I wasn't uh, giving this away in the description, you can see how much all, this, all these things cost. Uh, this backpack alone is 130 bucks US, and then the slider is about like 500, 600, 600 bucks. So, uh, in a pinch, it was really useful for me when I got it uh, when I was in Reno at uh, Action Camera. I needed a slider, I needed something that was able to shoot, uh, super portable, and I could travel and bring it around. I'm not from that area, I'm from Vancouver. So, the, the inside of the bag, this came with all these goodies here. This is for your, I haven't even opened this, right? This is a ND filter clamp for your cell phone. So you can clamp that on there for time lapses, super useful. So if you know, you know. This one right here is the USB mini cable. Okay, so that goes for charge. Uh, charge time is not bad. Uh, personally, anecdotally, maybe two, three, four hours or something like that. Um, but I never usually get all the way down to the bottom. So you click that once, you should show you the battery level. See how the, all, it's all lit up right there. 
and then you hold that and then it turns on and resets to the position. Okay. One thing to know, uh, if you're going to use this slider, make sure to uh, always have your cell phone with you because you can't operate it without the app. So that is the one caveat there. But overall, it is such a such an awesome slider that I wish I could use it a little more. But you can pack all these accessories in here so that they all fit, you know, nice compartment and all. Um, and then when you pack in the slider over here, it just, well, slides right in. Okay, and you're good to go. You can probably leave one of the mounts on there so you don't have to set it, set it up all the time. But um, yeah, this is it. Quite a nice bag, got two straps. On the side, there's another pouch. And on the side, there's the identical pouch. So, nice compact setup. I usually put bags inside bags, like folders inside folders. You got some folders. But uh, yeah, very nice, very cool setup. Fits up to the 5D Mark II. Um, you know, for 5D Mark II is a little heavier than most mirrorless cameras nowadays. So, in terms of weight and capability, this will get the job done. So, um, uh, don't try and overload it with too much, but uh, definitely able to handle most DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. Anyway, this is Lucian Lu. If you have any uh, questions or additional uh, concerns that you'd like to ask, feel free to reach out, send an email, call me, text me. Uh, this is is price to sell. This is got to go. I got to buy myself a Mavic 2 instead. I got other things I got to buy, but uh, yeah, I hope this goes to a nice owner because I love this package and I'm going to give it away for a decent price. Uh, hope you enjoyed this. Let me know. See you next time.